biggest threat to Ethereum is Ethereum. I want to make a short but I think important comment about Ethereum. Specifically, where Ethereum is headed and why, I don't think it's going to get there. A lot of you have probably heard about the big changes coming to Ethereum. Well, the big, big news is that it's transitioning to a proof of stake chain. So migrating off the old proof of work approach that's gotten Ethereum to where it is today. This is going to happen in phases, starting with a test environment called Beacon, and eventually the final phase of new and improved Ethereum 2.0, which will be called Serenity. Now, Serenity is going to do all this proof of stake stuff while for a while presenting as its former proof of work self. The targeted transition date is 2022, but that won't happen. Expect 2024, four years from now. But even if they do move remarkably fast and get it done in three years, it's still too long. Sometimes when you try to do a remodel, it has a way of getting away from you and transforming into a complete rebuild. And always in retrospect, someone says, we probably should have just constructed a brand new house. Here's my controversial point. I believe Ethereum should stay pretty much as it is. It's come a long way. From the white paper in 2013, the crowd sale in 2014, the launch in 2015, Ethereum began life as a proof of work chain. And I think it should stay that way. Not because I think proof of work is the future. In fact, for bringing blockchain to commercial scale, proof of work is a technological dead end. Even Vitalik, the chief designer of Ethereum, understands that. That's why he admitted that Ethereum is like a smartphone from 1999 that can process 15 transactions a second and play snake. So if we know Ethereum can't scale, and if it takes too long to process transactions, it's too expensive, and has lots of other shortcomings, why am I suggesting that Ethereum stay the course as a proof of work chain? I'm saying that because in my experience in conceiving, launching, and ramping new technologies and companies, you start out with a certain purpose and a set of goals. You can adjust those over time, but with every passing year, the degree a technology platform can shift to meet the changing market conditions becomes more and more limited. And eventually, it's like the platform becomes set in concrete. This happens for a bunch of reasons, not the least of which is a bunch of people are using it and they get stuck in their ways. They've accepted the platform for what it is and they're for the most part content. All technologies reach an evolutionary end. And then you need to jump to a new project where you can adopt a brand new approach. Ethereum can be rebuilt into a proof of stake chain. It can fix what in retrospect are design shortcomings. But it's the wrong place for this talented team to put its energy. Let Ethereum remain as a monument, a first generation smart contract platform that ushered in a massive amount of experimentation and excitement. Sure, keep maintaining it, but don't try to force fit a data design to meet tomorrow's challenges in blockchain. Challenges we can see now much more clearly than we could see when Ethereum was conceived six years ago. Ethereum is the Yahoo of the blockchain era. It had a great run. It will always be famous for what it accomplished. Many new ideas were spawned because of it. But when the team tells you that they have to do the equivalent of a blockchain sex change, going from proof of work to proof of stake, to get where they need to go, it's time to say, let's just start over. Don't take on the problems of an installed base, thousands of dApps and other layer two chains that may not even want to migrate over to Serenity. Think about it. How many of the existing proof of work dApps and layer two chains using Ethereum today will want to do that? The biggest competition that Serenity Ethereum 2.0 will face is probably Ethereum 1.0. I think a lot of the existing dApps and layer two chains on Ethereum 1.0 today are going to stay there. And if you weren't going to get the benefit of that installed base on your blockchain, you might as well free yourselves from the design limitations that installed base imposes on you and just start fresh. Those are my thoughts on Ethereum's transition to proof of stake. And if you like what you heard in this video, please hit subscribe or post a comment and I'll talk to you next time.